House Minority Whip Steve Scalise joins us now on the couch. Sir, how are you doing? Doing good. Good Great morning. To good to be you. in person here in the curvy couch with all of you. Great, Great to have you in person. Uh, we'll get to a, a lot of things, but let's start with that. I mean, is, will this work, and is this indicative of the types of things Republicans can do? Yeah, this has been a problem uh, for a while in our military. We've seen recruitment down dramatically. Mm -hmm. uh, you're talking over 25% or higher recruiting, recruiting drop because people yeah. uh, just don't want to get the mandated in terms of what we need to do to focus on China, the real threats around the world, and it's really posing long-term threats to our military. So as we're doing the National Defense Authorization Act, you ought to be addressing the problems that our military is having, and this is one of them. We want to get this addressed How about the in people the who are kicked out? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. You know, letting them back in. Yeah, that's been part of the negotiation. We want to get them back in. There are a lot of young people who go into service academies and aren't going into those service yeah. academies now either. These are the best and the brightest out of high school. Uh, you want to get those back in as well. And so we've talked to the military about getting a full assessment of all the people that were removed. Let's get them reinstated. This ruined people's military careers. Uh, let's, let's get this addressed. Sure. Um, I'm sure you saw over the weekend uh, Elon Musk put some stuff out through Matt Taibbi, the, the reporter, uh, where it's, it's very clear Twitter pretty much did everything they could to help Joe Biden. Is big tech going to be investigated once the Republicans take the House? Absolutely. This is something we've laid down as a marker months ago. We, we told the big tech companies, save your documents. There are things we've been asking them for months, for over years, uh, that they haven't been sharing with us. And Elon Musk has been exposing what happened at Twitter. They're not the only ones that have been doing this. Uh, but the Hunter Biden laptop story was uh, probably the, the most high profile that we've seen of many other stories that were suppressed when the New York Post put the story out there. Go back and looked about two years ago all of the mainstream media calling calling that story disinformation saying it was part of your lies that are being told by the right the administration still and it turned out that. to be a true story and mm -hmm. they blocked the New York Post uh, I, I actually was able to question Jack Dorsey in a hearing that we had about this and he admitted that they shouldn't have done it. The problem is, when you look internally, there were a lot of discussions. There were these ministers of truth, and a lot of these tech agencies have them. Uh, that's the kind of translation is somebody that wants to suppress conservative speech. And so all under the name of truth, they were shutting down stories that were true because it might have hurt Joe Biden's campaign. Uh, that's not what they're there for. That's surely not what they were telling people on the outside, and it's going to get exposed. What can you do? What can Republicans do to prevent this from happening in the future, from the government going into these companies and telling them what they should and shouldn't put up? Yeah, one is putting them on notice. It's going to get exposed. And, and Jamie Comer, the incoming chair of the Oversight Committee, has already started sending out some of these uh, requests for documents. Jim Jordan's going to be chairman of the Judiciary Committee. He, on this issue, has been very vocal what he's going to do to hold big tech accountable. But also, when you look at Section 230, this law that gives liability Why do they still have it? To, well, because the Democrats are in charge right yeah. now. That's going to change on January 3rd. And in fact, both Jim Jordan and Kathy McMorris Rogers, she'll be the chair of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. They have a bill they're working on to finally confront big tech's abuses of Section 230. So you're saying it's going to go away? It's going, to be, it's going to be one of these things that we're going to bring legislation on to finally confront the abuses that big tech has been having, uh, both with their platforms, but also with the laws that we're giving them liability protection. Okay. Real quick, uh, speakership, does Kevin McCarthy get to the number he needs? Yeah, he's going to get there. He's working, obviously, with the members uh, that have expressed concern with him. And uh, I think we're you know, getting there, and uh, I think it's a matter of time. Okay. All right. Speaking of time, our time is up. Yes. Stop by Great anytime. Great to Thank see you. Thank you so much, Congressman.